Merry Meat Witches, Greybeard Crow Father here. It's been a pretty rough weekend here. Had, um, as you probably noticed by my one post, Snickers. Our oldest girl, 17 or 18 years old, we had her in the vet um, on yesterday. And she's kind of not doing good she's eating and drinking right now at home here we're kind of hoping that she pulls through i thought it was maybe just an infection we don't know yet but we'll just have to wait and see so yeah it's she's she's my my uh girl that you know the one that always curls up with you in bed and sleep with you all night long anyway with that happening, it kind of brought me into what I was going to talk about tonight in, far, in terms of um, the intro series is uh, Wiccans and Death. So, in each religion you have your um, own belief systems. Christians have their heaven and hell. and Norse, if you die in battle, you go to Valhalla. But if you don't die in battle, you go to... Hell, which is spelled H-E-L, and it's not like the Christian hell. And you go to the underworld where you live and work with your friends and family. It's just different because you're not going to Valhalla because you died in battle. You just go, you know, to live a normal afterlife, I guess, is the best way you could put it. You know, um, and uh, certain Indian, Indian religions... Um, Hinduism, it's the belief of reincarnation, you know, you die, you come back, and, uh, you, and next time you die, you come back, and depending on your deeds in life, you you know, move up the ladder until you finally reach that final stage, which is also similar to Buddhism, where every time you die, you come back in life until you reach that enlightened stage where you <clears throat> reach nirvana, I'm sure you've heard that before. In the Wiccan's belief system, it is commonly accepted more often than not that when we pass on, we go to a place called the Summerlands. And uh, the best way to describe the Summerlands is exactly what it sounds like, though I wouldn't know for sure what it actually is. Um, a beautiful green place is what I always, um, you know envision it as trees and you know lakes and rivers and friends and family are there hi though this is uh sabrina <laughs> come on girl uh, so yeah that's that's my vision of what the summer lands are and when 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 we pass we go to the summer lands and we reflect upon our lives and we can rest and, you know, take and, and look at the way that we lived and how we might want to end up living our next life. So when you're ready, um, you can come back to Earth and, you know, pick up in, as a new life again. Um, so that's the way that I see it. Some some Wiccans don't subscribe to that. Some believe, you know, that when we're dead, that's it. Nothing more. And, you know, once you're gone, you're gone. I don't subscribe to that. Um, I've just seen too much stuff in my life that would convince me otherwise. Um... I apologize. I sound like I'm rambling tonight. I'm just, you know, it's been, like I said, it's been a long weekend. Um, <clears throat> we had one cat one time. He was with us for four years. Uh, and he ended up getting stomach cancer. And there was nothing that we could do about it. It was, it was way beyond saving. So we did what we could for him to make him comfortable <clears throat> and then uh, a couple days later he passed now this cat he would always 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 sleep on the bed with us 
as well as it did a couple of other of our cats at the time. <clears throat> and the next morning after the day that we had actually had him, you know, put him to sleep for good, I was laying in bed, my wife was laying in bed, and two of the other cats were laying in bed. And that's it. There was nothing else, nobody else in the room. Well, sure enough, we hear this sound of a cat jumping down off the bed onto the floor. And I looked at my wife, she looked at me, and what was really strange was that the two other cats that were on the bed with us, it wasn't either one of them, but they actually looked at where the occurrence happened as if they actually knew that one of the other, well, that that little guy had actually come to say his final, you know, goodbyes to us and then, you know, slept with us that night. So that's that's why I believe that there's more beyond than, than uh, you know, poof, you're gone and that's it. So, yeah, my my thoughts are is that when we pass on through the veil, we go to the Summerland for an indeterminate amount of time or an amount of time until we deem that our, you know, energy is ready to, you know, get, come to the next world or, excuse me, the next life. And, uh, you know, we live it all over again. Now, the one thing I do also think that about once you come back from the Summerlands is that you have no control over whether you're born a male or a female or what country or race that you're born in. You basically just take what you're given and you live that life. And if you can actually take that role and live it to your fullest and, you know, be your best when you, you know, pass on again, I, I can't say it's like a reward system because I don't believe that. I think it's just the, the goddess and the god picking, you know, our way through us. Um, like I said, you know, there's no, no choice in the matter. You just, you take what's given to you. I'm sure at some point in time, I don't know how many lives I've had in the past, but I could have been different genders and different races for thousands of years. Does it bother me? No. Why would it? If that bothers somebody, um, you know, then maybe they don't deserve to have that time on the planet. I also believe that you're... Um, past lives also affect your your future life if you're if you've been good in all those lives you'll you'll continue to be a good person if you're you know a jerk or a racist or or you know a, a, a criminal or whatever the case may be I think that that may tend to affect your future lives as well so be good folks because you don't want to end up in a pretty crappy life in the next in the next world. <laughs> that being said, uh, I am going to go back and uh, attend to Snickers again. See how she's doing. She has, like I said, she has been eating and drinking, so that's that's a good sign. I'm hoping that this just was a bad infection and not the way we think it's going to go. So, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and blessed be. Graybeard Crowfather signing off.